Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is multi-step measurement problems. This is 10.4 in our book, and so there's uh, where you can find all your lessons at that website right there at mrmathblog.com, and then make sure you click the fifth grade link at the top. So there's our common course strand for our teachers, and our question is, how can we solve multi-step problems that include measurement conversion? So uh, we're going to use some uh, information from our prior lessons to tie into this one here. So here we go. John has a, link, a, a leak under his sink that drips two cups of water each day. After two weeks of dripping, John finally fixes that leak. If, uh, if that leak dripped the same amount each day, how many quarts of water uh, dripped from John's sink in two weeks. So, so there's all kinds of things that, that we're going to, the answer is uh, we want to find out how many quarts uh, uh, that leaked after two weeks right here. Well, we started in cups, so we're going to have to find out how many cups there are in two weeks, and then we're going to have to convert the cups to first pints and then to quarts. And so I'll, I'll remind us what those conversions are right there. So let's go ahead and solve this problem here. Let's get started here. So let's record the information. So the leaked drips, how many cups each day? It, drink, it drips two cups each day. And for how many weeks? For two weeks. Okay. So uh, we're going to find the total amount of water dripped in two weeks. Okay, so let's, let's first find out how many cups were dripped in two weeks. So since we're given the amount of water dripped each day, we need to convert that two weeks into days and then multiply. Okay, so there's two cups a day. How many days in two weeks? Well, there's seven days in one week, so in two weeks there's going to be 14 right here. So if we put 14 right there, 2 times 14 equals 28 cups total. All right, so now we're going to convert the cups to quarts right there. All right, let me just slide that up right there. Okay, here's our conversion right here. See, we got a, there's two cups in a pint. So, and then we're going to take these pints. For every two pints, there's a quart. So we got to convert uh, the, uh, these 28 cups to quarts right here. So two pints in each cup. I'm sorry, there's two cups in each pint, and there's two pints in each quart right here. Okay, so what we're going to do is divide, you guys. So, so we're going to, we start with 28 cups right here. So 28 cups, okay. And then since there's uh, two cups for each pint, when we go from a smaller unit to a larger unit, then we divide. So we're going to take 28 and divide that by 2. So down here, 28 divided by 2 is 14. So there's 14 pints right there. Okay, so if we have 14 pints, remember there's two pints for every quart. So we're going to take the 14 and divide that again by 2, and that's going to give us 7 quarts total right there. Okay, so John's leak drips 7 quarts of water in 2 weeks. Okay, all right. So um, what if John's uh, leak dripped for 4 weeks before it was fixed? Instead of 2 weeks, how many quarts of water would have leaked? Well, um, if it was 7 quarts in 2 weeks, then it would have to be double that, because 4 weeks is double 2 weeks, so it would have to be double 7 or 14 quarts right there. Okay as long as it leaked the same amount. Okay, all right, let's try another one, you guys. So here we have a carton of eggs that weigh about uh, 1.5 pounds. If a carton holds a dozen eggs, about uh, how many ounces does each egg weigh? Okay, so we've got to do a couple of conversions here. So in ounces, find the weight of the carton of the eggs. Okay, well, remember, one pound equals 16 ounces, so we'll go ahead and put the 16 in right there. So we're going to go uh, multiply, since uh, the whole carton is 1.5 pounds, and we're going to multiply 1.5 times how many ounces are in that, so 1.5 times 16. And if you have trouble thinking about 1.5 times 16, use that distributive property we talked about Oh, a couple of chapters ago, 1.5 is the same as 1 plus 0.5. So I can multiply 1 times 16 and then 0.5 times 16. Well, 1 times 16 is 16, and then 0.5 times 16 is just half of 16, which is 8, and 16 plus 8 is 24. So all of these eggs are, um, are going to be 24 ounces, okay? Now that's not the answer to the question because it's asking how many ounces does each egg weigh, okay? So that's for the whole. This is all of them right here. There's 12 eggs right here that weigh 24 ounces, so we're going to have to uh, convert that. So in ounces, find the weight of each egg in the carton. So remember, a carton 
which is a dozen, equals 12. A dozen is 12 eggs right there. So we're going to take that 24 ounces, what the whole carton uh, weighs, and we're going to divide that by, there's 12 eggs in there, and 24 divided by 12 is 2. Okay, so each egg weighs about 2 ounces right there. All right, you guys, I hope that makes sense, and take care.